The team's been constantly investing in Azure database migration services. Learn all about it and what's new, especially in the Azure SQL migration extension in Azure Data Studio, this week on Data Expose. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Abhishek from the Azure SQL Migration team. Uh, you're no stranger to the show, so welcome back. Hello, Anna. Thanks for having me again. This is my second time in your show. I'm really very excited about it. Awesome. Yeah, we're happy to have you on the show. And today we're going to be doing an update talking about what's new in the Azure SQL migration space. I know there's a new version of the extension, maybe some new things in DMS, but I don't really know. So that's why you're here. So tell us all about it, what's new, and kind of where should we start to get started? Sure. Uh, my name is Abhishek, and uh, I'm the Senior Product Manager in Azure Data Modernization team. Uh, my team is responsible for building different migration tools for customers to migrate their on-premises database workload into the Azure SQL offering. And today, I'm excited to announce that we have released a newer version of one of our favorite tools for migration, Azure Database Migration Services, uh, which is version 1.5.6. So this is available as an extension in Azure Data Studio, and the extension is called Azure SQL Migration, and that allowed users to use all the DMS migration services, streamline their migration assessment and uh, SKU recommendation and data migration, each and everything. In this release, I'm going to talk about three main features which we have released. Uh, the first one to start with is the data provisioning based upon the SKU recommendation using the ARM templates, which is generated by SKU uh, recommendation. The second one is the support for the newly introduced new gen general purpose service tier for Azure SQL MI instances. And the third, but not the least, announcements in the login migration experience, which is in public preview. So cool, uh, awesome. These, these sound like a lot of really big things that people are asking for. So I'm excited to learn more about them. Yeah, thank you, Adam. So let me quickly show you a little bit about how the DMS functions. So to start with, DMS is a fully managed service designed to streamline the migration of all your Azure SQL database workloads, whether they are running on on-premises or in another cloud. DMS takes a source as any of your SQL servers running on on-prem, and as I mentioned, on any other cloud. It can be accessed through Azure Portal, through Azure Data Studio, or if you are into automation, you can use PowerShell and CLI. And as I mentioned, you can choose either of the three SQL offerings to migrate as your SQL target. Today, I'm going to talk about the Azure Data Studio extension and the announcements we have introduced in version 1.5.6. Now, before I start, uh, migration, database migrations are generally a complicated project. So generally, it's been divided into four phases which starts with the assessment where we check the readiness of the database. The second is the analysis of the workload on the source, which help us to determine what SKU we should provision in my Azure SQL offerings. And the third is once I am done uh, with identifying the SKU and provision the target, the actual data migration from my source to my target. And last but not the least, once I completely move to the Azure, the monitoring and the optimization part. Now, prior to this release, uh, the DMS provides uh, your assessment, your SKU recommendation, but it doesn't have the capability to allow you to do a target provisioning based upon that SKU recommendation. But with this release, we have introduced the capability to use those ARM template, generate the ARM template on those SKU recommendations and use them directly to provision your Azure SQL targets. Along with this, there are other two features. One, first is the announcement in login migration. Now, based upon the feedback we have received from multiple customers, we have improved the peri validation and hence improved the success of your login migration journey and enhanced the monitoring for ease of use. And the last one, the introduction of the new gen Azure SQL MI GP. Now I'm going to switch to the Azure Data Studio. Now, to give you a demo, this is my source SQL server. 
and I have connected to Azure Data Studio. And this is my extension, which is Azure SQL Migration. Now, to start with, I click on Azure, migrate to Azure SQL, and it allows me to select the database present on that source. Uh, just give me a minute. And as soon as I select and go next, it starts performing the assessment. Here we go. So my, as my favorite database, Adventure Works, I select it, go next. And as soon as I click next, it starts analyzing and assessing the database, whether it is ready for all the three Azure SQL target offerings. Now, in a minute, you will see the three cards being displayed here with the migration readiness for this Azure uh, database. Here we go. So for all the three targets, which is Azure SQL database, which is a pass offering, Azure SQL MI, which is again a pass offering, and Azure SQL on virtual machine, which is an IS offering, my migration readiness for the database is 100% green. So I can migrate to any of the three. Now, the next question come, what SKU should I choose? Let's say I want to migrate to Azure SQL MI, uh, what SKU it should be? It should be on GP or it should be on something else. So I have, have the option of collecting the performance data from my source, and it helps me to analyze and recommend me based upon the workload on the source. I've already kept it ready, and I'm gonna zoom in. So if you look at here, so it has recommended me the next gen general purpose machine for SQL MI. As I was mentioning, this list supports the new uh, SKU provided by the SQL MI. And if you also pay attention here, it is allowing me to deploy this SKU directly to Azure. So if I zoom out and click on this feature, it will automatically create a ARM based template and I can use this template directly. Uh, either I can use it through PowerShell or I can save it or copy it to uh, my CI CD pipelines for automation. Or if I want, I can go and directly click here and deploy it on the Azure. Now, for that, I select my Azure account and in subscription, I select the subscription where I have a blob storage to store this template. Now, this Third thing I'm going to choose is the location. Resource group, and it has already selected the storage account and the blob container. So this is the blob container I'm going to use for storing this template. Now, if you look at here on the deploy button, as soon as I click over here, it will open the Azure portal and pre-populate the template with all the details of this recommended SKU. Now I click here and in a minute, here we go. So it is logging to Azure portal and it's going to pre-populate the template for me. So as you can see, this is a custom deployment page. The resource group and other things I can mention. The most important thing, which is it has already pre-selected the service tier, the hardware generation, the V codes, and the sizes, which is being recommended in the SKU or generated by the DMS extension. And if I go and take you to the blob storage, which I have used for deploying, you will see a ARM template being created over here. So this is uh, really simple. Once I have the template, so all I need to do is click here, review and create, and it will automatically deploy the Azure SQL MI instance as my target. Awesome, great. This is super cool and definitely makes it a little bit easier. You're basically taking friction points away and you're lighting up this new um, new service tier, the next gen general purpose, which we've heard a lot of great things from customers about. So it makes a ton of sense. It's amazing to see how long, how far the Azure SQL migration extension has come in Azure Data Studio, uh, the advancements you, the team has made in the SKU recommender and how it just makes for smoother, smoother migration. So thanks so much. I guess one question I have for you as we kind of close out Abhishek is, for people who are newer to migration or just start getting started with thinking about migrating, uh, any tips or tricks? 
Yes, definitely. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, migration projects are a little complicated, and that's why the Azure Database Migration Services comes into the play. It makes your migration experience so simple, so seamless, that you will love doing migrations. Uh, everything, uh, including videos, documentation, is documented on learn.microsoft.com, and we keep on releasing new announcements, filling in the gaps. So only thing I would recommend, give it a try, and you are true for sure going to love the migrations. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Shake. I learned a lot. I'm sure viewers learned a lot. Viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like. We'll put some links in the description for you to go learn more. But at the end of the day, just go try it out and let us know what you think. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.